Hey, my name is Joey Edwards. I'm the chef here at Three Sisters at Blackberry Mountain. I'm gonna be cooking a roasted butternut squash that is pretty simple, um, but the cool thing that we're gonna do is this butternut squash and honey jam. The first thing to do is the thing that's gonna take the longest, so that is roasting the butternut squash. We have these great butternut squashes from a local farm. First thing, trim them up and peel them. Cut it in half lengthwise and then scoop out your seeds. What we're gonna do is toss it with some rosemary and olive oil. I like to kind of keep the rosemary whole into these big pieces like that. And as it cooks in the oven, they'll get crispy and delicious. And then some salt. Since this is all coated, you can put it on a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. Make sure you get all of these little pieces of rosemary on there. It makes a great garnish afterwards. This is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And when it's nice and tender, we'll pull it out. So the next thing we're gonna do is get started on this butternut squash and honey jam. So we've got our diced butternut, diced onion. We're gonna do a little bit of olive oil. I kinda go equal parts with each. And then we'll put this over medium heat and get it sweating down. So now that we've got it started, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this. Some white wine vinegar. And then the honey. So it's all gonna cook down. The honey's gonna slightly caramelize and it's gonna be really, really delicious. So it looks kind of loose, that's totally okay. Back on the heat for about another 10 to 15 minutes or until it's nice and sticky and looks like a jam. Okay, so this is about three quarters of the way reduced down. It's still a little bit looser than a jam, but we're gonna add the next set of ingredients. We're gonna add some rosemary, some lavender. These are lavender flowers. And then some black pepper. Then back on the heat for a few more minutes just to finish it up. All right, I think we're about there. The last thing we're gonna add is fresh lemon zest. This just kind of brightens it all up a little bit. So we have this really rich honey and then the fresh lemon comes through. This kind of thick, sticky consistency is gonna be perfect for this jam. So the first step to finishing this up, we're gonna put this ricotta cheese right here in the center. Then we're gonna put this in the broiler to kind of melt the cheese a little bit more. We're gonna wanna take the paper out from under it just so it doesn't catch on fire. And into the broiler. All right, so this is what we want it to look like. Nicely caramelized on top, kind of bubbly like a cheese pizza. And then our jam, just gonna get spooned over top of it. Then I'm just gonna finish it with a little bit more of our lavender, some black pepper. All right, so the last step here is gonna be finishing with our crispy rosemary garnish. Sometimes we spend weeks developing a dish and uh, it takes a lot of trial and error. And sometimes we have a farmer that shows up with everything you need. In this case, we had one of our local farmers show up with honey and then also the lavender that was growing next to uh, where the honeybees were. So it kind of all made sense to put it together. I hope you like it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and I can't wait to cook with you again soon.